Hi, I'm Mel and I am Double Pisces Tarot and today I'm doing a reading for Leo. So let's get into it. Messages for Leo, please, spirits. Messages for Leo. So we have occupation. False person. And thoughts. On the back of the deck. Main female. So you could be working hard at some kind of occupation or career, something that you love, but there could be some kind of false person, someone that you think about. So we'll get some tarot out on this. Messages for Leo, please. Messages for Leo. So we have the Magician. The Seven of Cups. The High Priestess. The Seven of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, Strength, Leo Energy, and the Three of Wands. Spirits, what is this magician for Leo? So Magician, Virgo energy. I feel like you're manifesting something, Leo. This could be job, relationship. But there could also be some kind of Virgo around you, some kind of Virgo energy because we've got some kind of Knight of Wands, Fire energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person could come in and out of your life. This is like a passionate night. This person could be in their head about some kind of something. Because we've got the chariot coming out, cancer energy. This person's coming in quickly now because of a missed opportunity.
What is the Seven of Cups for Leo? So I feel like you could have options with the Seven of Cups coming out. This person does want to come in though. They're giving a coin to the Temperance Angel. So they're the Knight of Pentacles. They could have Earth in their chart, but this Knight comes in slow. You know, this person could be giving to balance now with the Sagittarius energy that could be in their chart. But there's like some kind of soul connection or family. Sorry, my light just went out. What is a high priestess for Leo? So we've got the Two of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Wands. And the Page of Swords. So you are this High Priestess, Pisces Cancer Energy. That could be in your chart, but you could watch tarot, do tarot. You're very intuitive. You are like this creative queen, the queen of wands, fire energy. You know, this is you, Leo. There could be someone watching you. You've got the page of swords coming out, air energy. This person could have an age difference to you. But I feel like you're not juggling over this decision anymore. What is the Seven of Pentacles for Leo? So we've got the Moon. The Page of Cups and Justice. So, you are this Nine of Pentacles, you are single, you're following this path, the moon path, the path you're supposed to take, you don't know where it leads, but it could lead to this Page of Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, as I said before, that could be an age difference. I don't know why I said, as I said before, this could be someone from the past, but it's, it could be new. It's a page, it's young, new, but they're coming in with a cup. So there's some kind of justice coming for you, Libra energy. This could be in this person's chart, but there's a justice calling coming in for you. You've got the seven of pentacles, so there's progress happening, I feel. What is this Ten of Pentacles for Leo? The Knight of Swords. The Eight of Cups. And the Hanged Man. So Ten of Pentacles, blended family, everything you need in life. This person may be coming in quick to this Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you left this situation though with the Eight of Cups to be in this Hanged Man energy, Pisces energy. To have this epiphany. 
you know, you walked away to get your Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles. What is this Page of Pentacles for Leo? So there's someone coming in, some kind of Earth energy. The Page of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. This person mm, is coming in to hand you a coin, maybe a, a helping hand, maybe. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. So they could be handing you some help while you work away. This person could be a wish fulfillment. We've got the Nine of Cups coming out. We've also got the world, so this is a, an, a completion, a completion of a cycle, so you could have just ended the cycle, starting a new one, rebirthing. This person could also be at a distance from you. But we've got the four of wands on the back of the deck, so 11, 11, you're on the right track. So what is this Knight of Cups for Leo? So we got Knight of Cups, Water Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is another person, another energy in your life that's coming in with a cup. This cup could cause arguments. Because I feel this person may have ghosted you or left in the dark. But there's some kind of judgment call coming in. Scorpio Energy. This person could have betrayed you with a Ten of Swords on the back of the deck. What is the strength for Leo? So I feel like you need to have strength, Leo. Tame the lion because I feel like there could be some kind of cycle turning. There could be some good fortune coming to you. But this could be... a new wheel turning with somebody. I feel like this is you, the Queen of Cups, holding out that cup and there's a queen of swords here so we've got air energy gemini libra aquarius and then we've also got pisces cancer scorpio but i feel like you're giving a cup and this other person is a person of logic they don't actually have to be feminine you don't have to be feminine also just in these energies at the moment This person could have been sad over the three cups spilt, not realizing that there's two still standing behind them. So what is this three of wands for Leo? So you have the three of wands coming out so you can see that there's something coming in the distance for you this could be career relationship we have the six of swords coming out in reverse and then we've also got the star coming out in reverse so i feel like with the six of swords coming out in reverse there could be a delayed of leaving for calmer waters 
You could not be leaving for calmer waters. You could not be following the star at the moment. Aquarius energy. You're not balancing yourself. You're not following the star. Maybe because you're in this wounded warrior energy. Nine of Wands. You're just standing your ground. Fighting for what you believe in. But there looks like there's some kind of good news coming your way. Or there could be some kind of fire energy that's coming in. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Because you do have like the six of swords on in reverse. So, you know, you this could... It doesn't have to be good news. It could be, you know... Just take what resonates for you, but you may not be leaving for calmer waters just yet. Because you had the six of the six, sorry, you had the king of swords on the back of the deck, so I feel like this is this person, someone of logic. This could be this false person. But take what resonates for you. This is a Leo collective. So we'll grab some Nyx Oracle cards and see what messages Nyx has for the Leo collective. Three cards for Leo, please, spirits. You have been visiting other reams, weaving destiny. Let yourself have fun and enjoy the moment. Time for celebration and bliss. A brief and pleasant interlude awaits. So take what resonates for you. But it looks like this is your time to do you. Have fun. Live in the moment. So we'll grab some channeled songs. Two cards for Leo, please, spirits. Chain Reaction, Diana Ross. Splish Splash, Bobby Darren. On the back of the deck, Teardrops, Womack and Womack. So listen to these songs. They will have messages for you in them. I thank you again for coming to my reading. If this is your first time, welcome. Remember, all my readings are timeless. So if you ever want to listen to something, check out my channel. There will be messages for you in there. I have made a playlist for Leo. So check it out. It's getting bigger and bigger each day. I hope you have the best weekend. And I hope to see you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.